The Anglo-Irish Treaty 1921 um, was the outcome of peace talks that took place between Ireland and England after the Irish War of Independence. Um, Sinn Féin sent a delegation to these talks that included people like Michael Collins and Arthur Griffith. Um, de Valera refused to go. There are kind of a number of reasons put forward as to why he didn't attend. One being that he was head of state, wanted to stay in Ireland. Um, another was that he wanted to control more extremists back at home. Um, but anyway, he didn't go. Um, Lloyd George headed up the British delegation and he was helped by people like Winston Churchill. Um, the Irish aims going into these talks were they wanted a republic and they did not want partition. Um, the British aim was simple. They wanted to keep Ireland in the Commonwealth. On the 6th of December 1921, the Anglo-Irish Treaty was signed. Terms of the treaty included Ireland would be known as the Irish Free State. Ireland would be a dominion, so part of the British Commonwealth. The King of England would be represented in Ireland by a Governor General. Members of the Irish government would swear an oath of allegiance, so an oath of loyalty, to the King of England. Um, Britain would have use of Ireland's treaty ports, which were Berhaven, Cove and Loch Swilly. And a boundary commission would be set up to decide the border between North and South. Um, look, the terms of the treaty were absolutely controversial. The two most problematic terms were the oath of allegiance that was to be said to the King of England um, and the Boundary Commission. The reason why the Boundary Commission was so controversial is because this, for the first time, accepted and acknowledged the fact that Ireland had been divided and that Ireland had been partitioned. Um, between December and January, of 1921, rolling into 1922, the Dáil debated the treaty, and these were extremely heated debates. Um, Pro-treaty side argued that the IRA was running out of arms and ammunition, um, that we kind of had no option. Um, Britain threatened an immediate and terrible war if the treaty wasn't signed, and the IRA were not up to fighting that. Um, they argued that the treaty was a stepping stone towards full independence. They argued that it gave us more than home rule. So we got our own flag, our own currency, our own army. Um, politicians in favour of the Anglo-Irish Treaty included people like Collins and Griffith. Although Collins did acknowledge that when he signed the treaty, he was signing his death warrant because he knew it would not be accepted by all people in Ireland. The anti-treaty side, so people like de Valera, they argued that the treaty did not give Ireland the republic that they wanted. Um, they thought that better terms could have been negotiated, especially surrounding the Boundary Commission. They also took issue with the Oath of Allegiance, as this recognised the English king as the head of state. Um, on the 7th of January 1922, the Dáil voted 64 to 57 in favour of the treaty, and de Valera and his followers walked out of the Dáil.